we're taking these supplies to make this USB outlet lamp. Hey guys, Corey, Make Shape Create. Um, we're making a USB lamp today. So, uh, like most people, I have way too much stuff on my end table, a lamp, chargers, this and that, blah, blah, blah. So, I wanna make a lamp that also has an outlet and also has USB plugs. So, that's what we're doing today. This is how we did it. We're gonna take this plug, wire it in here. This is the cover for it. And then we're gonna use, um, this is just a regular 10 foot um, grounded extension cord um, that we're gonna use for the wall plug. And then a regular lamp kit. Um, it came with this little neck and I thought that might be a little too small. So we bought a longer one to use. Um, and then it's just cutting down wood and going from there. So here we go. So got these pine boards, two of them clamped together so that I get the same length. I'm gonna use my straight edge right here with the circular saw. Get a nice clean edge. And then I just have to cut a third one to match. And yeah, so here we go. the two side and the back piece cut. Now we need to do a top and we need to do a shelf and we need to do a bottom for the outlet to sit in and also for the bottom to rest on. So back over to the bandsaw, cut three pieces like that. All right, so time to start gluing this stuff up, we're gonna use a combination of wood glue and CA glue to get it all together quickly, okay? I thought I was recording, I didn't, um, me gluing all this up, but now I got the top and the bottom piece, I will show you me gluing it up. Sorry about that. Body's all glued up. That's ready to go. Got the front panel cut. Uh, just have to drill some holes, do some wiring, and uh, we can start finishing this thing. Let's get to it. start doing the wiring so we got our outlet box we got our plug got our extension cord and the cord that came with the lamp um i'm not sure if we're going to need this um i think the extension cord will have the wires we need and so i can just kind of cut them at different lengths and get the uh, you know go from there so i've already cut the end off of it but this is like a 10 foot extension cord like i don't think i need 10 feet so we're gonna like cut it, I'm gonna say like in half, maybe, maybe a little less. Um, Cause I would rather have more than not enough. But uh, so we're gonna cut that here and that will, you know, allow us to get to the wires we need and go from there. All right, so this is super easy for anyone who wants to do it. Once you cut the, the extension cord apart, now make sure you get a three prong one. Um, but once you cut that apart, you have a white, a black, and a green wire. The white and the black are the, the negative and positive, and the green is the ground. Um, as you can see, it's got like these individual wires in here. I'm just going to kind of twist them all together, make it a little easier for myself. Um, when I go to curl this around the plugs on the side. Um, I do think to save myself some time, I'm not going to use that. I am going to use the the one that came with the lamp. Um, just because then I don't have to 
try to weed out the, the ground wire. So as you see, this one's the same thing, just positive and negative. Um, this one will have one will have printing on it and one won't. Uh, the one with the printing on it should be the equivalent to the black wire. Take our thing, make sure it's nice and dust free. Feed these wires in here. Right. And I drilled one there just because I wasn't sure if I was gonna have enough room to route it out the back and around to the top. So the plugs will come with a little um, instruction manual. Just follow it and you're good to go. Okay, so let's get this wiring done. <laughs> wired up um we are going to test and see if everything works we're gonna start with the lamp lamp works start with plug plug works now we're gonna try the usb just don't fry my phone <laughs> I'm a little nervous because you just had it tested it earlier and sparks flew. USB works. <laughs> Yay! Everything works. <laughs> okay, so now we're all good. Take that out. Unplug the no lamp. No sparks! Unplug the lamp. <laughs> yes, apparently when I did it, guys, I had the wires way too long, so they shorted. And uh, I don't know if I... Oh, yeah, here we go. Um, oh, yeah, here we go. And that's what happens. Two wires hit each other and sparked. So scared the bejeebas out of me. <laughs> so we uh, we shortened everything, got it rewired, and now we just need to pull all this through. And I'm actually gonna add some um, CA glue to this. <laughs> I don't I don't know if this is gonna work. Hey, get it to a point where I can actually fit the bulb in there. Uh -huh. sure. I know what you're doing. Okay, wasn't sure. Mm -hmm. right, here we go.
glue's dry, wood filler's dry. I just got, I'm gonna mask off the rest of this and time for lots and lots of sanding. Yay. Alright, we got the basic form of this all sanded down, um, but I didn't like how blocky it was. So I got some um, quarter round and cut it into pieces that I can put around this as kind of like an accent. I'm going to do this on the top and the bottom. I've already cut pieces for the top, so I'm going to go ahead and glue them on and then cut the ones for the bottom, glue them on, let it dry, probably going to have to do a little more sanding and a little more filling, and then it's just staining and finishing. And we're done. Oh, I can see the light. Not these lights, but I can see the light. So the sanding's done. Now I want to paint this uh, hardware. I don't really like the silver, and also it doesn't match. It's like it is. So I got this like uh, dark gray metallic paint. I don't actually want to use it. Um, I can't find my black, and I just feel like I need to just um, tired of it just sitting here. So we're gonna go with this. And if it doesn't look good, then. I can always come back and do the black over. So, here we go. Stain's dry, took a few coats, but it is dry. So now we're going to use some polyurethane, coat this, sand it in between, and then uh, put on the cover and we should be done. Here we go.
that's how we did it. Super happy with how this turned out. Um, had some problems along the way, but also learned a lot of stuff along the way. This is probably the most uh, complicated project we've done to date. But uh, I got a lot of ideas for new ones, for future projects. If you guys have any ideas for future projects or any comments on anybody we could have done this better, leave them down below in the comments. Um, you can find us on social media at make shape create and on Instagram at make underscore shape underscore create. Um, please hit subscribe, leave us a like, and we will be back next week with a brand new video. See you guys.